Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an interesting question from one of our viewers. They want to know how to add properties dynamically at runtime in an existing c -sharp class. To give you some context, our viewer has a user interface where they can input values into a table called fields. These values include product name, product ID, and product code. They already have a class named product with some predefined properties, but they want to know how to add new properties on the fly as users input data. So, how can we achieve this dynamic addition of properties in the product class? Let's explore the methods and techniques that can help our viewer implement this functionality effectively. Welcome back guys to another technical help question. I'll be going through the question, the answers, and hoping to help find that answer. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and get through and work to the solution. Now let's get started. To dynamically add properties to an existing class in C-sharp, we can use the expando object class from the system dynamic namespace. This allows us to create objects that can have properties added at runtime. Next, we will create an instance of the expando object and then add properties based on user input. For example, we can add product name, product ID, and product code as properties. Now, let's see how we can retrieve these properties. Since expando object implements iDictionary, we can access the properties using a dictionary-like syntax. Finally, remember that while Expando object is flexible, it may not be suitable for all scenarios, especially if you need strong typing. Consider your application's requirements before choosing this approach. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. You can dynamically add properties to an existing class in c -sharp at runtime using systemreflection.emit. This allows you to create new types and even save them as compiled DLLs. However, deploying these changes to production can be complex. Here's a quick example of how to create a new type with a property called product name. You define the type, add constructors, and set or get property values dynamically. The provided code includes interfaces and classes to facilitate dynamic type creation, allowing you to define properties and methods programmatically. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To add properties dynamically at runtime in an existing c -sharp class, you can use a dictionary to store custom fields. This allows you to add any number of properties without modifying the class structure. Here's how you can implement it. First, define your class with a dictionary for fields. Then create an instance of the class and add custom fields as needed. Finally, you can access these dynamic properties easily. For example, you can display the values of your custom fields using message boxes.
Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To add properties dynamically at runtime in c -sharp, first clarify your needs. After compiling your code, metadata is generated, and to add new properties, you must compile again. You can use reflection.emit to create dynamic types in memory, but this won't persist. Alternatively, you can use expando object for dynamic data or mono.cecil to modify types and compile them on the fly. If you're using Visual Studio, consider the edit and continue feature, which lets you modify your running assembly and update metadata on the fly. This can be a simpler solution for adding new properties without extensive changes. Ultimately, there are simpler solutions than complex methods. Assess your requirements carefully before deciding on an approach. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To add properties dynamically at runtime in C-sharp, you can use the Dynamic Object class. This allows you to create objects that can have properties added on the fly. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To add properties dynamically at runtime in an existing c -sharp class, first define a property that can hold dynamic data. In this example, we create a class called MyClass with an existing property ID and a new property called Information, which is a list of dynamic objects. Next, create an instance of my class. You can set the existing property ID and initialize the information list. Then use expando object to add new properties like name and age dynamically. Finally, add a new expando object to the information list and assign values to the new properties. This allows you to handle dynamic properties easily. And that's it guys. I hope we've gone through the question and found that solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.